Hello to all my loyal fans over the internet. This is Christine Chandler coming to you live once again from my house here. And uh, because I have not received a response, I have a letter that I had, had written on November 12, 2015, which that was a Thursday. And I believe I sent it um, either that same day or the day after on Friday. But anyway, um, I'm going to read this letter. It, and if you and it's addressing definitely to the local game stops in Charlottesville, Virginia, all four of them, as well as Fashion Square Mall, and believe it or not, even the Best Buy. So without further ado, I'm going to read this letter. <clears throat> yeah. And uh, fortunately, I did not know his name, so he's referred to as Sir and. A similar pronouns way where I wrote uh, Dear Yellow Shirt Assistant Manager of the Fashion Square GameStop I never got your name, I'm sorry To preface this letter I most humbly apologize for everything I have done as of the release date of the Sonic Boom video games around November 11th, 2014 In regards to the protest of Sega changing Sonic the Hedgehog's arm color to blue from tan, more recently I have learned that the next console Sonic the Hedgehog game, his arm color will be back to tan, and therefore I have concluded the protest against Sega and made the official statement on my Facebook group page, Fits Sonic's Arms Immediately Sega. To recap and make the story short, in the in Sonic Boom, Sega had changed Sonic's arm color. I felt most upset about it. I protested by discouraging the purchase of said games and related Sonic Boom merchandise, and encouraging sending everything Sonic Boom back to Sega. I had contacted Sega of America. I received not good responses on the topic. I caused mail. I caused malcontent against me in my peaceful protest. I ended up banned from the four local above GameStops, and aside from him, the other three locals were a set of carbon copy as well. Uh, da, 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 da. Right. Um, and upon the final major shock to my fear, paranoia, and nervous system at the Fashion Square location, I retaliated with a show of pepper spray container and left with a show of what was originally meant to be a warning to not ban me ever, scaring the living crap out of me, or just plain giving me a bad day. It turned out to be a more worse day for everyone. And since then, the jail time kept me from getting very important and detailed packing done for moving back to my renovated house on the following December 31st, 2014. Also, I had emptied the thing of pepper spray, downward into a nearby hole, big hole, outside, and disposed a said canister into the hole. I did not have any pepper spray on me since. Court dates were had and maintained, along with respective mental therapy and analysis towards the fact that I had felt most overwhelmed, paranoid, and wanting to defend myself from such being banned and personal attacks to me. And upon the court's conclusion, the whole mess has become over with, and all should be resolved as I am praying to achieve today. Upon the recent conclusion of reversing the arm color change among the other details, while related, had little to do with the protest, including game glitches, story content, whatever, I understand and realize that the protest was not only a waste of time and energy, ultimately, but that it was among the worst mistakes I have ever done in my life, not counting what the internet haters had blackmailed me into performing and video recording since 2007. And I most deeply and seriously regret having begun the useless protest in the first place, and I more regret ultimately feeling need to defend myself and spritzy pepper spray at you, the yellow shirt assistant manager. I am really very sorry. And with all that, I most humbly request to be unbanned from all 
of the local game stops in Charlottesville, Virginia. I will be most appreciative of not being forced to waste gas money to go out of town and most distance as far as the one game stop within the U.S. military housing of Fort Lee here in Virginia. Fort Lee. And appreciating the soldiers who helped defend the United States after my father, Robert Franklin Chandler Jr., having served around World War II, stationed in Seoul, Korea, in a signal corps. I am serious. I did do that. I had required pre-owned Pikachu Amiibo figures for materials for my Sonichu figures that I make and sell on Etsy, on my shop, Quickville Shopping. But I digress. Not only will I be most appreciative, but I will bring good karma to you and all the other employees of your GameStop and the other three GameStops as well. And we can all be forgiven and forget the whole mess and good strides of the future. Everyone wins. But if I am left banned, then everyone loses. With the most heavy, symbolic hippopotamus of guilt, shame, and loathing upon yourselves because not only are you most discriminating against one person but a high functioning autistic lesbian trans woman famous author with headache inducing mental handicaps who would never intentionally or unintentionally harm any living thing without any reason whatsoever. Again, everyone loses if I am left banned from everywhere. And speaking of yellow shirted friend, I believe you either have a secret family within or are mooning, moonlighting at the Best Buy in Charlottesville as well. To make, this, to make that story short, a few days after I got out of jail on December 28, 2014, and I had absolutely no pepper spray on my person whatsoever. Because as I had mentioned earlier, I had emptied the caster and disposed of the caster. I had done nothing at the Best Buy prior to that day. And a search and manager spooks the living crap out of me, telling me I was not welcome there, that I was banned from there. I had asked why. He did not give me any answer. Then I reached into my bed to get some money out, little funds, to see if I could pay my way out of this. I had not said anything about the pepper spray whatsoever. I put my hand in the bag, and his subordinate shouts, He's going for the pepper spray! I stopped in surprise after hearing that. Ultimately, I left the store. I had gone there again months later to be met with the same spiel, and no answer to why. I even went over their head on the telephone to try to resolve it. Nothing. Then last Tuesday, November 10th, I went there once again to buy Lego Dimensions Pack with a $10 certificate. I got met in the back of the store with the spiel once again, and this time I asked why, and I finally got the answer. They said that I, quote, threatened them with pepper spray and we have video footage unquote but again that first time they said anything about me not being welcome there I had not nor ever threatened anyone at that store nor had I any pepper spray on any of my visits there then and prior Therefore, I feel I have to pin the blame onto you, sir, for that, my yellow-shirted friend. Either of having family there or giving me more of a difficult time and giving me more of a difficult time than I was already going under. Or you do have a second job between the GameStop and the Best Buy. Hmm. And I would expect that might be something the better business Bureau might like to hear, perhaps? So once again, 
you can F give everyone good karma by forgiving me and forgetting the whole mess and unbanning me from these four game stops as well as the one Best Buy and thus allow me to be welcomed back to Fashion Square Mall as well. Everyone wins, but peace of mind. Or leave me banned from everywhere and nobody wins with the hippopotamus weights upon each of our heads forever. And I reiterate, I am really very sorry for pepper spraying you. I am really very sorry for making the protest against Sega in the first place. I have no pepper spray and I promise never to cause anyone harm or trouble ever again. All that needs to be done for full peaceful resolutions is to unban me from everywhere. I have stayed in this lair. Please do the positive thing and bring good karma upon us all. I'm looking towards I'm looking forward to a written, detailed response from you and everyone who gets this letter document I am no longer banned from the Charlottesville, Virginia Game Stops and Best Buy and Fashion Square. Thank you and have a very good and safe day. Sincerely, Christine Weston Chandler. But right now it's November 29th. More than two weeks since I mailed the letter to all four said locations of the GameStops, and I have not heard anything. Therefore, I am making this video. I, Christine Weston Chandler, am quite upset by not receiving any response whatsoever, nor, as well as still being banned from not only the four game stops but the two other places as well, Best Buy here and Fashion Square. And I am I am issuing an embargo on all game stops as well as GameStop.com. And every one of my thousands to millions of fans worldwide, I encourage you all to follow me in this embargo. Never can never go to or conduct any business at any GameStop location anywhere. Do not even go to GameStop.com. US, UK, anywhere, any of the foreign websites. None of them. Do not go to any of those places. As well as, I am not, I am banning Best Buy as well. No Best Buy, no Best Buy.com, no Best Buy UK, whatever. As well as all Simon shopping malls. I'm very serious in this. Your lack of response has left me most upset, my yellow-shirted foe. <clears throat> and you will lose business because of this. And if you do not have me unbanned from all four of the local GameStops, as well as the Best Buy and Fashion Square, this multi-person ban from you all will still continue on. So you think about that. Bring back good karma to us all or pretty much be damned. You're discriminating against the LGBT community as well as the autism community. You decide to hate against us when you hate against me. And we all know that love and friendship conquers hatred and does a lot better. It could prevent a lot of wars if we take to the lessons learned from the positive friendship TV shows that are made available, including My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, and The Care Bears. So anyway... Embargo on the GameStops, the Best Buy, and Simon Shopping Malls begins right now. Game over, GameStop. Game over. El juego se acabado.